We turn to our multicultural spotlight to Rick's criticisms of Indiana's education system. This morning, Indiana's NAACP has unveiled a major initiative. It calls a blueprint to help black students in the state. News 8's multicultural reporter Katera Winfrey has that part of our coverage. Cody and Alexis, it's called the Indiana Black Academic Excellence Plan. The NAACP says part of the work outlined in the plan is to help close achievement gaps and includes mandatory full day kindergarten, eliminating high stakes tests to measure school accountability and support cultural competency training. A collection of educators, legislators, and advocates are putting their voices behind a plan to improve education outcomes for Indiana's black student population. And the Indiana State Conference of the NAACP is leading the charge. The state of Indiana needs to have a policy on the website that actually denotes that racial equity is a priority of the state. The newly released Indiana Black Academic Excellence Plan, they say, is the first step of many to get the job done. We should not accept as normal the data that overwhelmingly demonstrates we must act with boldness, and with urgency. Four steps of the plan center around creating a good educational climate for students that in part focuses on cultural competency. I'm glad to have this plan, this roadmap, this blueprint. Some of the 15 strategies call for mandating full day kindergarten while offering full day pre-K, provide equitable funding for academic success and support personnel, empower and hire teachers of color and prioritize district equity policies. As a former English teacher, the thing that was the most frustrating was teaching eighth graders who are at the second grade level. If we put the investment at the beginning, we won't have to spend all this money at the end remediating students in middle school and high school. If teachers don't have the best practices to deal with barriers or situations students face outside of school, including violence or food insecurity, that's another barrier and one not unique to black and other students of color. And this plan, although although getting support from educators and legislators, the state will need to act to see it put into place. I've reached out to the Indiana Department of Education and am waiting to hear back. Reporting in the studio, I'm WISH TV News 8's multicultural reporter, Katira Winfrey.